aren't we? <laughs> no. I love you. Well, I love you too. More than I've ever loved anybody. But what if that's the only thing we have in common? Breaking up is hard to do. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 TV couple breakup scenes. So what does that mean? Are we... Yeah. For this list, we're taking a look at the most memorable TV moments in which a relationship comes to an end. Some of these couples may get back together later on, but all of these breakup scenes remain heartbreaking nonetheless. I'm up there waiting for you to come down the aisle, and I know you don't want to come. Also, a spoiler alert is probably called for. Number 10, Dylan McKay and Brenda Walsh, Beverly Hills 90210. I have an announcement to make. What is it? Dylan and I broke up last night. Love begins to blossom between these two high school students during the first season of this iconic teen drama. I like your butts. I mean your bike. Oh, well, thank you. Hop on. Their relationship faces a major hurdle when Brenda fears that she may be pregnant. Callie, can't you ever stop thinking about guys for one second? I mean, there is more to life. Sounds like it's that time of the month. Well, it is. And it isn't, if you know what I mean. What are you talking about? I'm five days late. Although it turns out she isn't, Brenda feels that things are moving too fast and breaks things off with Dylan. I just don't know what we're about. Like, things are happening too much too fast. I think we need to stop seeing each other at least for a while. For the next few years, it appears that the young couple may potentially get back together. However, any hope for their reconciliation is shattered when Dylan has an affair with Kelly, Brenda's best friend. As you can probably guess, Brenda doesn't take the news well. Honesty? Is that what you think this is about, Dylan? I don't think so. Look, I hate you both. Never talk to me again! Number 9. Ted Mosby and Robin Sherbatsky. How I Met Your Mother. Well, if we'd actually moved in together, all my stuff would be here, but we didn't. From its pilot episode, this sitcom established that Robin wouldn't be the mother of Ted's children. Because that, kids, is the true story of how I met your Aunt Robin. Aunt Robin? I thought this was how you met Mom. Despite wanting different things out of life, Ted and Robin entered a committed relationship for a whole season nevertheless. Although the audience knew this wouldn't last, there's no denying these two characters shared marvelous chemistry. Watching them inevitably break up made us feel bluer than the French horn. You stole a blue French horn from me. I would have stolen you a whole orchestra. Ted and Robin would eventually rekindle their romance in the series finale. By that point, however, we were all kind of rooting for Ted to live happily ever after with the mother. Funny how sometimes you just find things. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Number 8. Mindy Lahiri and Danny Castellano. The Mindy Project. Danny! No, why did you kiss me, Danny? Why did you even start this? Mindy views her life as if it were a romantic comedy. Of course, no rom-com would be complete without a tear-jerking breakup. Okay, yeah, I think I think you're right, we should call it off. Wait, wait, what? Just as they start to address their feelings for each other, Danny informs Mindy that he wants to keep their relationship a secret. Mindy gives Danny an ultimatum. They can either become a real couple or call things off. This backfires, as Danny doesn't want to ruin their friendship. I need to have you in my life. I, I have to have you. Yeah, we've all heard that one before. Fortunately, it doesn't take too long for Danny and Mindy to finally reconcile at the top of the Empire State Building, borrowing from the classic rom-com Sleepless in Seattle, in true Mindy fashion. My heart is racing. So is mine. I thought I lost you. Oh, shut up, shut up. What did you if you come to this stupid place? Because you love it. And I love you. Number 7. Seth Cohen and Summer Roberts, The O.C. Breaking up with me? Yes. Sorry. I really am, but I feel it's for the best. What? I, I only unbroke up with you so that I could find out why you were breaking up with me in the first place. I guess now you'll never know. Seth and Summer were easily everyone's favorite couple on the OC, making this breakup especially painful to endure. Cohen, if you don't love me, I promise I will go to Brown by myself and I will be cold and miserable and alone. But I will never bother you again. 
After Summer gets into Brown, she decides to stay behind with Seth, who got rejected. Only wanting the best for his girlfriend, Seth breaks up with Summer so she can move on to greater things. Even after Summer makes a grand romantic gesture, Seth still insists that he doesn't love her anymore. I don't love you anymore. While Seth had good intentions, lying to Summer remains one of his most debatable choices. I was 18. I just think college should come first. Not if you're with the one you think you should be with. Like, I'll forever be with. No, who really knows that at 18? I do. At least the truth comes out in time and the two get their happy ending. It's time to cut ties. It won't ever free your mind. Number six, Arya Montgomery and Ezra Fitz, Pretty Little Liars. Because I know that once I say what I'm about to say, I know that there's no taking it back. Sharing an on-again, off-again relationship since the first episode of Pretty Little Liars, Arya and Ezra's romance has been a true emotional roller coaster. We've been trying to make this work for a long time. And, and I, what? I, what? And, and as much as we love each other, I think we are deluding ourselves into believing that it can. With Arya leaving for college towards the end of season five, the couple comes to a mutual decision to make a clean break. I think that when I go away to college, I should be single. The end of Ezria left shippers everywhere stricken with grief. At the same time, their breakup proved to be surprisingly identifiable. It also exemplified Arya's growth, leaving high school behind and becoming an adult. Besides, we have a feeling that things aren't entirely over between these two just yet. I want the entire world to know who you really are. You are compassionate, sensitive, you're kind. Number five, Joey Potter and Pacey Witter, Dawson's Creek. So answer me this one question, because this is what I've been wanting to ask you, Joe. Why are you with me? Pacey. Why are you with me? Because I don't know why I'm still with you. As far as we're concerned, Joey, Pacey, and Dawson are still the ultimate TV love triangle. Joey would eventually choose Team Pacey, but their relationship wasn't smooth sailing from there on. With college on the horizon, Pacey starts to fear that he's not good enough for Joey. He unleashes his insecurities in the middle of senior prom, furiously rocking the boat. We are not trapped on this boat. You and I are trapped in this relationship. I can't take it anymore, Joey. When I'm with you, I feel like I'm nothing. Infuriated by her boyfriend's public outburst, Joey tells him to go to hell and abandons the ship. You can go to hell. This might have given some hope to those who were championing Team Dawson. In the end, though, Joey and Pacey reign as the Creek's definitive couple. I want you to be with someone who makes you feel like I feel when I'm with you. So, I guess the point of this long run-on sentence that's in the last 10 years of our lives, it's just that the simple act of being in love with you was enough for me. Number four, Christina Yang and Preston Burke, Grey's Anatomy. I'm ready, I'm fine. I, Meredith talked me down, really, I'm fine. Go, 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 I'll be right behind you. I'm sorry. Although Callie in Arizona's breakup hit us hard, if you get on that plane, if you go without me, we are done, do you hear me? We are over. The end of Christina and Preston's relationship was an even bigger bombshell. I scrubbed in and the vows were on my hand. I scrubbed off my vows. Oh, okay. Um, okay, hello, I, scr I scrubbed off my vows. I, I, can't, I can't do this. It was a rocky road to the altar for this couple and their nuptials didn't exactly go off without a hitch. Seeing that his apprehensive bride clearly isn't ready for marriage, Burke calls off their wedding. Of course, the real reason was because actor Isaiah Washington got fired. We have been through a lot this year. And everybody else turns you down. Unable to breathe in her dress, Christina is left with a broken heart that can't be mended through modern medicine. <laughs> While her romance with Preston wasn't built to last, Christina's friendship with Meredith would remain unbreakable. Number three, Buffy Summers and Angel. Buffy the Vampire Slayer. I've been thinking about our future. Buffy and Angel made for a great team and an even greater power couple. Seeing how one is an ageless vampire and the other is the Vampire Slayer though, their relationship naturally had its complications. You deserve more. You deserve something outside of demons and darkness. Knowing that he'll only cause Buffy more pain, Angel makes the difficult decision to break up with her and move away. Buffy can't believe this news and the audience is just as crushed. 
But hey, at least Angel is now free to pursue his own spin-off series. So when he gets his soul back for the second time, he figures, hey, he can't be anywhere near young Miss Puppy Ties without endangering the boat, so what does he do? He takes off. Both of their shows concluded without a romantic reconciliation, but we're keeping our fingers crossed that Buffy and Angel end up together in the comics. It's a clottery. Hands represent friendship. The crown represents loyalty. And the heart, <laughs> you know. Number two, Carrie Bradshaw and Aiden Shaw. Sex in the City. Aiden, look at me. Look at me before we make a huge mistake. While Carrie and Mr. Big split up numerous times, it was her second breakup with Aiden that left us bawling. Aiden, you're pushing me. Well, maybe you need to be pushed. What's the big deal? It's just a stupid piece of paper. If it's just a stupid piece of paper, then why do we need it? After she accepted Aiden's marriage proposal, it looked like Carrie Bradshaw was officially spoken for. Alas, their engagement would only last a couple episodes. Where Aiden is 100% ready for marriage, Carrie is unsure she'll ever be ready to tie the knot. This isn't about you. I'm not ready for marriage. Well, I am. It doesn't help that Aiden could never fully trust Carrie after her affair. Unable to reach a compromise, their relationship comes to a bitter end. I'm going to sleep in the other apartment tonight. Really? Yeah, really. Yeah. Just for tonight? Well, at least it's better than getting broken up with via post-it note. Before we get to our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. I need some time to take a step back and reevaluate our situation. Oh. I hope you understand. You said you would stand by me through anything. This Blair is anything. I never thought that the worst thing you would ever do would be to me. It's over. No, you can't say that. You can't just say that it's over. It's not over. You can't just decide that it's over. I'm in this too, you know, and I'm not gonna let it be over. You said, be ready now or never. I'm ready now. But that you needed to see her test how you felt about me. I don't forgive you no. for that, Corey. No! no! You told me to see her, Topanga! You told me to see how I felt! But we go days without having a meaningful conversation. And I used to miss you so much when that happened. But it never seemed like you missed me. Number one, Ross Geller and Rachel Green. Friends. I didn't think there was a relationship to jeopardize. I thought we were broken up. We were on a break. That, for all I knew, could last forever. That, to me, is a break up. While Ross and Rachel's breakup stands out as one of the most dramatic moments on Friends, it also incorporated a fair deal of humor to balance things out. Should we do something? Yeah, never cheat on Rachel. <laughs> Part of it derives from Rachel's animosity towards Ross after learning he slept with another woman. Just get away no, from it me! It was a mistake. I made a mistake, okay? A mistake? What were you trying to put it in? Her purse? <laughs> we also get some strong comedy from the rest of the cast, who have been trapped inside a neighboring bedroom. Ultimately, however, the fight works up to a devastating conclusion in which Rachel tells Ross it's over. This can't be it. I mean... <sighs> then how come it is? Several years later, the two finally sorted their feelings out in the series finale. For the record, though, we still don't know if they were on a break or not. We were on a break! <laughs> oh my god, if you say that one more time, I'm gonna break up with you. Do you agree with our list? What TV breakup had you reaching for the tissues? <clears throat> for more entertaining top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to Ms. Mojo. They've been quiet for a long time. Maybe she killed them. <laughs>